January 27th, 2025 may go down in history as Deep Seek Day. Deep Seek shaking up global tech. Nvidia yeah. losing nearly $600 billion in market cap today alone. In a few hours, the company broke its own record for the biggest single day loss of market value in history. A handful of other US chip stocks, many trading at 30 times earnings or more, plummeted as well. They dragged down the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100. Even as companies paired some losses later in the week, DeepSeek had sent a message. US tech giants have really claimed supremacy in the AI race. DeepSeek is really making them question that narrative. The release of DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call. DeepSeek revealed that it was able to outperform the leading US AI companies at only a fraction of the cost. The entire stock market has been really hinging on this AI supply chain. And what DeepSeek threw into question is whether or not that supply chain really needs to be built out as much as the companies have projected. So what do we know about how this nascent app rocked global markets? And is it the pin that will burst what many fear is a dangerous AI bubble? DeepSeek makes an app similar to ChatGPT or Claude. It'll write code, answer questions, or script an empathetic breakup text. But it distinguishes itself by articulating its reasoning before responding to a prompt. And what's extraordinary is its apparent quality and low cost, and of course its seeming appearance out of nowhere. DeepSeek is a Chinese AI startup that was formed in 2023 and spun out of a hedge fund. It was the product of 40-year-old entrepreneur Liang Wenfeng. He looks like this, and only this actually, because it's one of the only shots anybody has of him. While Western tech leaders are extraordinarily good at self-promotion, He's kind of stayed out of the spotlight. There's not a great deal known about him. He certainly wasn't a well-known name in, in Chinese tech. But he's a well-known quantity in finance, especially in China. Seems like he studied electrical engineering and computer vision, which is a very interesting field of AI specifically. So to the AI world, DeepSeek wasn't entirely new, but in November, it released a preview of its R1 model. And later that year, we could see that it was actually performing really well against some benchmarks versus some of the more well-known AI models, including OpenAI's. In fact, it ranks among the top performers on a UC Berkeley affiliated leaderboard called Chatbot Arena. In January, DeepSeek hit the big time when its R1 model was made available in an app. It quickly surged to the top of the App Store and it surpassed OpenAI's ChatGPT. The tech industry has been really impressed by DeepSeek. These are AI models that can not just produce text, but can actually develop mathematic skills, coding, and some advanced reasoning that we haven't seen from computers in the past. Answering questions the way you know a human might think through a question. Just don't ask it about Chinese politics. Its reasoning is aligned with that of Beijing's censors, meaning some questions are politely sidestepped. But it's also open source. Developers can inspect the code, modify it, and run it on their own servers, even for commercial use. US AI startup Perplexity has already announced DeepSeek can be used uncensored on its platform. But what really sent investors over the edge is that DeepSeek revealed it was able to build this model and train it at just a fraction of the cost. Anthropic CEO Dario Amade predicted that it will eventually cost $100 billion to train models compared to $100 million today. Deep Seek, we're told this happened with $6 million in funding. Is that possible? Is that true? They said this one individual training run was $6 million. The fact that Deep Seek was able to do this really raises the question, what have these companies been spending billions of dollars on? AI is notoriously capital intensive. Since 2017, total spending on chips and data centers by some of the major US players has shot up. Now, let's see the breakdown. Microsoft, Amazon, Oracle, Google, and Meta, together, they're forecast to spend more than a quarter of a trillion dollars on AI infrastructure this year alone. And that's one big reason NVIDIA's investors got spooked. It makes a lot of that stuff. 
DeepSeek's low-cost, high-performance product suggested packing expensive data centers full of power-hungry semiconductors might not be as necessary as previously thought. It's also why energy companies and equipment manufacturers' share prices sank in the wake of DeepSeek's emergence too. AI devours energy. This is Microsoft and Google's total energy consumption. You can see the upward trend, and a lot of that's because of AI, which would have been good news for those who generate it. So how was DeepSeek even able to become so proficient? Washington for a number of years now has been restricting uh, China's access to cutting edge chips, which they thought would hold it back significantly in the AI sector. The Biden administration moved to curb sales of these high tech chips. The future of the chip industry is going to be made in America. This meant that Nvidia and other chip makers couldn't sell to Chinese companies. So DeepSeek got creative. It found a way to more efficiently build and train a model without needing so many NVIDIA GPUs. One thing that they've been able to do is really get more power out of sort of older computing chips, older NVIDIA products. It's something game developers have practiced for years because the components of a console, say the old PlayStation 3, never changed. Game makers had to figure out how to eke performance out of them, so titles released at the end of a console's life often had better graphics than those available at the start. Uncharted versus The Last of Us, for example. Liang Wenfeng probably knew this. Before the US chip curbs sort of came into play, he started sort of hoarding these NVIDIA older chips, older uh, graphics processing units. It's not the first time a Chinese company managed to innovate underneath US-led sanctions, though. About a year ago, Huawei stunned the tech industry by unveiling a phone that was powered by semiconductors that were more advanced than US officials previously thought possible, especially after they had instituted export controls. This deep seek release and this huge reaction that it sparked could raise alarm bells in Washington in a similar way. There are a lot of people now in Silicon Valley trying to decipher how exactly DeepSeek was able to build this model, whether it used technology from other companies and whether it used more chips than it's let on. DeepSeek hasn't commented on industry speculation, but Microsoft launched an investigation to find out if it's accurate. I don't think there's a clear answer to that yet, but I do think they have shown, you know, in the research that DeepSeek has published that they have been able to, you know, come up with their own innovations here and they have been able to uh, really be efficient with the technology that they do have. DeepSeek's focus on efficiency rather than funding meant it could engineer itself into a competitive position, even if it was standing on the shoulders of giants. And despite the risk its achievements are thought by investors to pose, President Trump and American tech bosses have been pretty complimentary of the Chinese startup. Competition is great for the US and uh, DeepSeek is competition, no doubt about it. I'm hearing all of the tech titans uh, uh, speak of it glowingly. To see the DeepSeek um, um, new model, is, it's super impressive. This is a bit of a wake-up call for the AI industry. I think that the US has spent a long time sort of underestimating China. China's tech sector is actually very capable of innovating and creating these very powerful and very advanced products. And I think that Silicon Valley's, you know, presumed lead that they have over China, I don't think they should take that for granted.